What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Darian with Darian the Dev and in this video I'm going to share with you my favorite Chrome extension for JavaScript. If you guys are brand new to the channel, if you're into tech, entrepreneurship, coding, startups, anything like that, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me stay motivated to put this content out for you guys. That's all we talk about here on this channel. All right, guys, so this video is going to be really quick, but this extension came up to me last week at work. And once I downloaded it and started using it, I was like, all right, man, this is a really great tool. It's free. And especially for newer developers that are trying to learn JavaScript, I promise you this is going to save your life. All right, so when you go to Chrome, do a regular search for Grepper and go to the first result that says Grepper Google Chrome. Once you guys download this, you'll know you're good to go. Once you see this colorful logo right here that represents Grepper, it'll be in your browser, but you don't need to actually use this. Once you see this though, you know you're good to go. You can immediately start doing Google searches. So we come back over to Google, and if I do a search for something that is related to JavaScript, right? So let's say that I'm trying to find out how to get the last character of a string. So I'll say last char in string JavaScript. And when I search, you'll see that it's gonna start recommending me code snippets that have already been like upvoted or stored by other Grepper users. For another one, let's say I want to compare string length, JavaScript. And then again, I get another code snippet right here that shows me a way that I could do that in JavaScript. So the way that I understand it basically is that Grepper takes answers from different Grepper users in different languages all over the web who are doing development, doing web searches, and each time developers are finding answers to problems or challenges they have with a language, they can submit an answer that works for them to Grepper, and then Grepper can start to recommend that answer out to other people based on the search terms. Also, if an answer works for you and you upvote it or you downvote it, Grepper can get better at actually recommending the more correct or more efficient answers to you based on actually voting things. So I'd highly recommend that if you're going to use Grepper to be sure that if something helps you, you run a search and you get an answer and it works for you, make sure you upvote because it'll help other people like myself and other developers out there get the best answer recommended to them. As a developer, you do spend a lot of time skimming through articles and trying to find different approaches to the same problem and a lot of times you'll find three four five six different ways of solving the same problem and it doesn't always make sense the one answer that you find doesn't always make sense to you because the person that wrote that code probably likely does think differently than you do so even though the answer might work in your code you might not really understand it as well as if you came up with your own solution so with grepper it allows you to quickly see different types of answers and it allows you to see all these different approaches and decide which one makes the most sense to you or to compare different ways of doing something in the same language. But the one thing I like about it the most is that it exposes you to multiple different ways of solving a problem in the same language. And so you get used to seeing different methods and different approaches and different ways of writing code using a certain language to actually make you a better developer because you've been exposed to more ways of doing different things. And so then as you do that more and more and more, you can start to get the hang of all the different advantages of a language and all the things you can do with it. If you're brand new to software development or you're thinking about going to a coding bootcamp in general, make sure you guys stop and check out the description box down below because I'm giving away my free intro to coding bootcamp course that has all the content information I wish I knew going into coding bootcamp in there. And the best part about it is it only costs your email address. So it's completely free, guys. So make sure you check that out if you're trying to go to Coding Bootcamp. And if you're looking for a community of other people like yourself that are brand new to coding or trying to learn how to do this or to transition their career, make sure you also check out the description box down below for my free private Facebook group where I put all the additional links and resources to anything that I mentioned in these videos or other things I come across that I can't put in the description box here. I put everything in the free private Facebook group over there. So make sure you guys go get added into that in the description box as well, all right? Make sure you guys go check out Grepper. Um, it's a really cool tool for JavaScript developers, but it's not just for JavaScript. Um, I've been able to use it for C-sharp sometimes, but obviously there's not a ton of answers put in there yet. I think this is kind of a newer tool. It's still growing and developing. So as you guys go install it and use it, and as I use it, we can add our own answers in there and make it a you know bigger bank of answers that we can start using it for multiple languages. But right now, it's most supported for JavaScript. So if you guys are brand new and learning JavaScript, I highly recommend going and installing this into your Chrome browser, all right? All this is helpful, guys. Let me know down in the comment section if it was, what you guys think about this. Um, make sure you like, share, and subscribe if it was helpful, if you enjoyed this content. And I'll see you guys in the next video, all right?